two to four feet. So we'll see how that goes. And then I have all of these Polaroid cameras that I've recently acquired, well, other than the Spectra, which you know about, that I'm going to be going over in my vlog today. Really necessary. So I have my new pinhole, paper pinhole camera kit that I bought in Vermont. It's pretty neat. It was only $10, and I've been wanting to make a new pinhole camera since I got rid of my 4x5 pinhole that I made at school. And I just haven't had the extra time or energy to do that. So um, I'm going to set that together sometime soon. And then I'm going to go over some of my new Polaroid stuff. So today, actually, just got back from a tag sale where I got two Polaroids. This one, the Polaroid One Step Close Up. Ooh, and I can figure out here it's charging. And this one actually has two frames left. So we're going to try that out really soon to see if those are actually usable, if the film, its batteries are still working, I would assume it is. So there's that. And then this one I'm pretty excited about, the Polaroid Impulse. So it's got this nifty little thing to turn it on and off. And it also takes 600 film, but this one is set to zero, I believe. It doesn't have any film in it at all because it's not even making any noise when I press the shutter. All right, and then we've got the my Polaroid 600. I've had this 600 for a while, and then I have a 660 that I'm going to try out later. And then we have the Polaroid SX70 that I found at the swap meet not too long ago. Is it still working? Yes. The Alpha One Model Two, which I was really pumped when I found this. The problem is that. It's not completely working. So when I say that, I mean when I try and close it, it just doesn't stay closed. So this is popped open. I mean, it looks like it's in really good shape. I've never actually had one or even had one and seen one in person before I saw this at the swap meet and I was like, oh my God, before anyone else gets that, I need it. Um, but, it doesn't close all the way. It's it's little latches just don't do it. So here it is in closing mode. So you're supposed to be able to push this down, push that down, and have it kind of stick flat closed. But this one just won't do it. It's got little latches, I think, are torqued in the wrong way or something. I don't know. Just another example of how it doesn't close. So should stay flat like that, but it won't. I'm sure, I mean, there's definitely people I could send it to to get it fixed, but I don't really know if I want to go through that trouble since I have a 70, but it's not the same. It's a little more light friendly here. Now, if I'm doing something wrong, please just tell me because I have never used one of these before. So clearly it came with a bit of damage, some water damage, some scuffs to the leather. But, I mean, that's not that big of a deal since, I mean, I'm not like looking for this to be a collectible or anything. Probably the coolest thing it does. I don't know. So, yeah, we're going to try out some of these cameras. Let's get to it. Okay, so since this is specifically a close up camera, I'm going to try and take a picture of this sunflower that's right in the frame, I would assume. I have you balanced on the clothing drying rack so 
I'm honestly trying to mumble as little as possible, but I know it's probably still going to sound like mumble. been opened so that's not gonna work gracie can you stop you're shaking the camera babe i'm gonna try one more time since that was the one on the top i'm afraid this film is just totally dead which is extremely disappointing of course can you get out of the garden gracie come here out of the garden And, oh shit. Okay, so it's counting down. Why did I think that they counted up? What is wrong with me? So I actually have a lot of film to test out. I'm just gonna keep shooting this. To see if any of them work. So that's number three. Okay, so that's still not, it's just totally dead. So I've looked back over these again and none of them are even developing a little bit like zero. We've got brown pictures. Best part of that experiment was the fact that I now have an empty cartridge that has working batteries in it so that I can test these cameras with the battery to make sure that they're actually going to shoot the film correctly. As I learned from my SX, my black one step camera rainbow one step i should always do that before i put an actual film because that camera was shooting out the black film piece and a frame at once like one and then the other like the shutter is getting stuck that's a whole nother video i haven't even gone over that yet it was just like six months ago and i haven't had time to fix it because you know life all right so this is the impulse, right? So I'm going to load the empty cartridge into that. All the way in. All right, so that one is definitely in working condition. Or at least working enough to do that and not shoot out two. All right, so we'll take it out of that one. We know that the close-up that I just shot is working because it was shooting out pictures just with a really poor old film and that's why those weren't coming out correctly just because the film was so old not because anything was wrong with the camera all right so we're going to put it in the sun 600 whoa really loud also definitely working Woo! All right, so that's pretty awesome. Since the last time I tried this camera, it didn't work because the camera pack didn't have good batteries in it. So we still have that film to load in this, which I don't know if I'll have time to do that today because I do have to go to work still. Who likes work? No one. So here's the autofocus 660. Going in. All right, so all three of these are going to shoot film at least. It's going to spit it out. Now, whether or not they're correctly going to um, make, I don't know, make the right exposure is a whole other story. <laughs> 